But he, um, back to back games like this, I mean, how, how tough does that get to be on you and how tough does it get to be on the players at this point? Well, you know, we're all competitive, Trace, and those are, you know, this series was hard fought both sides. Uh, you know, last night's game was tough. Uh, you know, today's tough, but it's all part of competing. Uh, you know, two professional teams going at it, guys playing hard. Uh, somebody's going to come out on top, uh, and it's emotional. Uh, you know, our guys, uh, you've watched it, and you've watched this team, this group of players, uh, you know, they're fighting like heck uh, as a group. But, again, uh, there's been hard losses in all these guys' lives uh, at all different levels. You know, the beauty of this game is you come back tomorrow and you, get, you got another game. And we've been pretty resilient. We'll see. But, I, again, we've always sort of bounced back. Uh, you know, I thought, you know, today we bounced back pretty well after last night. Since it gave us a great start, uh, we were in position. Uh, and then the bullpen had a tough day. And at the end, uh, like last night, we couldn't get that big hit. Uh, you know, to get us uh, back to even or, or take the lead. Well, the other tough part, I think, would be the pass ball, wild pitch, those type of things yeah. add up. Yeah. That, is that almost more difficult than a home run? Well, tough day for the bullpen. Yeah. I mean, you know, being in those guys' shoes, that's tough, right? And my relationship with catchers over the years as a pitcher, that's tough when that happens. Uh, you know, they're, they're feeling it. You know, they, uh, you know, they care. That's tough. Right. Uh, in a lot of ways, uh, we talk about not beating ourselves uh, and on the mound tonight, uh, late in the game, we beat ourselves. And that's something that we preach not to happen. Make the other team beat you. Uh, and at a 162, this is the game that we beat ourselves on the mound. Thank you, sir. Patrick Saunders. Buddy, I, I got in a little bit late. We were on deadline, so I apologize. I no need to apologize. I got in early. We got to get on a flight to San Diego. I, I understand. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure what Tracy asked you, but uh, regarding the bullpen, I just heard what you, you said about it beating itself. Uh, was it was it the walks mostly, again, that, that has bothered you? And, and if so, why, why so many walks in crucial uh, moments? Right. I mean, again, I'm not in the, you know, the pitcher's minds, right? Maybe better question for those guys if you ever uh, talk to those fellows. But leadoff walks, uh, right? Uh, Yancey, leadoff walk. Michael, lead off walk. Uh, those will come back to uh, to haunt you, right? There's a couple walks in there by Michael. There's it by pitch. The NC, I believe, two walks. So it can't happen. It, it really can't. Uh, whether the pitchers are, are trying to be too fine. Uh, you know, again, we've had this conversation before over many, many years in this game as pitching coaches, as managers, as bullpens. So, again, uh, you know, we need to be better strike throwers. Uh, we need to be able to throw a strike when you need to on a full count, uh, on, on 2-0, you know, those sorts of things. You hear me talk about pitching principles. Uh, there's a number of guys who are not adhering to that. Uh, we got to get to that. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Does anybody else have anything for buddy? Danny, I'll go ahead and finish this up. Hey, buddy. I uh, just want to check to see if you heard anything about Freeland's start yesterday. Uh, Kyle threw uh, 66 pitches in four innings. He came out of it fine. Uh, his, his stuff was uh, Kyle-like, you know, fastball 90, low 90s. He used all four pitches, felt fine, uh, felt good today. Uh, he'll pitch again on Thursday. Uh, we'll up the pitch count, uh, but he threw the ball well uh, from our reports. Uh, we were sent a video. Uh, so I watched it this morning, and it looked, and it looked fine. So he's progressing, and that's a good sign for us and for Kyle, obviously. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Is that it? Any more questions? Uh, I got one more from Dwayne, actually. Dwayne, go ahead. Okay, good. Go ahead. Hey, buddy. Uh, could you talk about uh, Sins' performance today? Yeah, I thought, I thought he threw the ball extremely well. And I thought he did something, uh, especially as the game moved on, uh, Dwayne, the, the separation of velocities, you know, from uh, I think his last pitch of the game, uh, the ground ball to short uh, was 94, 95 miles an hour. And there were pitches in the low 70s, uh, you know, that slow curveball. So the, the variance of the velocities is something that 
or that rate of variance in the velocities is something we haven't seen from Sensa. Uh, he had a good feel for his curveball, and I think he just kept taking a little bit extra off it uh, to create that separation. I think you saw some red sitters out front of, of the off speed, and then when he when he threw the fastball in there, uh, as an except, as an example of that last out, uh, it beat their bat. So again, what, I don't think he was quite as sharp as we've seen him at times, but you know that's pitching. If you go out there 33, 34 times, uh, you're not going to be sharp every single time. There's going to be games like today where you uh, you bob and weave your way through the game and make pitches, and here it is, you won seven innings. Uh, threw, under, threw under 100 pitches and, and gave up one run. Uh, the walk total, he had two walks, uh, two strikeouts, hit a guy for two two guys. Uh, again, not overly sharp and not his best stuff, but he pitched, and that's what I told him. So it was, I think it was a great lesson today for Sensa. You know, maybe when he doesn't have his best stuff, uh, he, he goes through seven innings and gives up. Thomas Harding, go ahead. Yes, Senza, um, last time out, your pitch action was very good. You um, Things didn't quite work out for you. It seemed like today you had everything under control. What was the difference from the last time out to today? Yeah, I think the big difference is the last one is that I come out my fastball really good tonight for the night. So my baby pitch is still there. Got to get some more of that and keep, keep staying uh, out, of, you know, out of balance. And I think the, the key to me Yes, um, this has been a tough homestand for the bullpen here. When you come out of a game, what is that feeling like knowing that those guys have been pitched a lot lately and things aren't going very well? For you? No, when I get out of the game, I assume like we got good, good pitchers, good relievers. So I just get it done. But, you know, it's all game. Okay, and uh, since the injury, obviously the last time out, um, you felt like you threw the ball pretty well. Do you feel like you're back on kind of where you were last season, where each time out you feel like you can give the team a whole lot of innings and, and, and pitch effective? You know, I just feel like tonight, and I don't feel like I can my all my pages and everything is keep working. Thank you very much, Sensa. Patrick, go ahead. Antonio, uh, can you give us a sense of the frustration in your clubhouse after a game like today's when it looks like you guys were going to win and have a, a nice homestand and then to lose it? I guess what I'm asking you is what is the mood of the team right now? You know, it's a tough, tough day for us because we think we got that game, but you know, I think this we just keep going. You know, it's a long season. We just need to keep going and um, put the, the teams together and um, try to win the ball game for tomorrow. And for you, uh, today's game, can you use this to really gain some momentum uh, heading toward the rest of the season? It seemed like watching you today, you really had a lot of things figured out. And you looked a lot like the sense of from last year. Do you feel like this is a really good starting point for you? Yeah, you know, I feel like this game, giving the company back to to where I can be in the game long, you know, long, long, to be in the game a lot of innings, throw a good game, like maybe it was impossible and things like that. So, you know, I just feel my company's back and I, I gotta keep, work, keep working on it and keep, keep working myself. And one more for me. Did you think he had a home run? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What? I think he got a base or something like that. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thomas, go ahead. You have one more. Yeah, so I wanted to ask you about um, this rotation has pitched very well at home this year. Haven't pitched as well on the road. Is there a reason for that? I'm, you go, Of course, they're going off to San Diego. But is there a reason for that? And what do you think you guys need to do to, you know, get going on the road? I don't know. I think you know, we just have a tough outing outside. So I think we just working on the work together. Be better in the, in the road. We got a good team. We got a good guys. Yes, 
All right, thank you, Antonio. You just wanted to check on that road thing. 